If you like these daily scares, hit the like button and subscribe to Darkness Rising. And please buy me coffee, link in the description below. If you have a story you'd like me to feature, send an email to the email in description. Thank you for the support. 13-year-old Emily felt like her mother had developed a peculiar habit. It usually happens late at night when the house was shrouded in darkness, and the only sound was the faint rustle of leaves outside her window. Emily would be lying in bed, reading or simply lost in thought, when she would hear her mother's voice calling her name from downstairs. Emily? Her mother would call out. Yes? Emily would respond, slightly irritated at the late hour interruptions. But there was never an answer. Annoyed, Emily rolled her eyes. Mom, stop calling me if you're not going to say anything, Emily shouted. One night, however, Emily couldn't take it anymore. The voice of her mother echoed through the house like a haunting melody. Emily? Mom? Stop calling me. Or if you're going to call me, then say something. But then, to her surprise, Emily's mom's finally said something. Could you please come downstairs, sweetie? Emily's mom's voice echoed through the house. With irritation and curiosity warring within her, Emily climbed out of her bed, careful not to wake her younger brother in the adjacent room. She tiptoed down the creaky wooden staircase. The house was cold and eerie, the silence only broken by her mother's intermittent calls. Finally, Emily reached the living room. Her mother's voice still beckoned her, but it was no longer a distant echo. It was clear and present coming from the kitchen. Emily? Yes, Emily replied, now even more curious to what her mother wanted at this hour. This time there was an answer. Emily, come to the kitchen. Emily's heart raced as she approached the kitchen doorway. The dim light from the hallway cast eerie shadows on the tiled floor. As she entered, she saw her mother standing by the counter, her back turned to Emily. Mom? Emily said tentatively. Her mother turned around and Emily gasped. It was her mother, but something was terribly wrong. Her eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and her voice sounded different, more mechanical. And then the skin on her mother stripped off to reveal a gray-skinned creature, with hallowed wide eyes with no nose and just a hole as its mouth. Its fingers glowed with green lights, like a plasma ball. Emily, let me tell you why we keep skipping this forsaken planet called Earth. The alien whispered in an eerie sound that resembles a radio static. Fear and horror took over Emily, and she backed away slowly, her gaze fixed on this strange alien version of her mother. What's going on? Who are you? Your planet is disgusting, Emily. Some of you humans go backwards instead of forward by thinking that the Earth is flat refusing to accept the overwhelming evidence to the contrary? Oh, let me tell you something, Emily. Your world is very round. How do you think I entered your atmosphere? And then you succumb to the siren song of social media, your minds reduced to a state of mindless compliance, where you eagerly perform outlandish and dangerous and sexually explicit stunts for fleeting clout. But the true horror lay in your disregard for your own planet. A beautiful world where you systematically poisoned with pollution and war and greed, you humans need to be extinguished immediately. Emily's mind raced as she tried to comprehend the horror before her. Why are you telling me this? I have nothing to do with what you're saying. I'm just a teenager. Emily's parents came downstairs and immediately the alien zapped them with its lasered fingers. Her parents reduced to dust, disintegrated. No! Emily cried. Why'd you do that for? We are here to mass exterminate humans and I am assigned to this town and this is my first location. I am sorry, Emily, you seem like a sweet girl, but this is inevitable. I have to purge all of you. And before Emily could say another word, the alien pointed its lasered fingers at her. And zap! Emily was reduced to dust. The alien scanned the entire house and it sees a sleeping body upstairs, and then it made its way up while the other houses in the neighborhood can be seen lighting up as the zapping continues throughout a night. And the town becomes silent by dawn. Just the smell of burnt bodies lingering in the air, 